so for this one specifically, um, I'm going to show you how to do it real quick so you can kind of just get to the meat and potatoes of this whole video. And then after I'm done uh, talking about like how we build it, I'm going to give you this entire spiel of like why I did this and why this one was a cool video for me because it took me a lot of time to do. So if you're trying to create a new highlight panel, um, this is the way that I chose to do it. It's uh, obviously no code. There were a lot of solutions around this as far as like code goes. Uh, I'm just an admin, so that's you know nothing I could really get into in the time frame that I had to do this project in for the company I'm working for. Um, so this is how you would do it. If you want to create a new little highlight panel to display some fields, um, in this use case, we had it to where we already had a highlights panel up here. Um, but we didn't want to get rid of any of that. We created some new custom fields that were going to kind of show the overall health of the account with a lot of images, kind of like this guy, like the account status. Um, so there were like four or five different uh, new custom fields that were all going to display a color code or an image of some sort to let us know how that account was performing. Um, so we didn't want to get rid of any of the other things that we had on this highlight panel, but we did want to kind of create a new one so that we didn't have a new section in here. We didn't mess with the page layout, just somewhere like off to the side, just like this, uh, that the user could quickly reference and kind of see what was going on as far as the overall health was concerned of that specific account. So that's kind of the use case here. So why we did that and how we did that is you'll first jump over to your um, object that you want to do. Uh, so in this case, we have the account, right? And you'll click over to your buttons, links, and action uh, a little side panel here. And you're going to create a new action, not a button or link, but you'll create a new action. When you create that new action, I titled my new highlight panel. And um, you're going to set this up as an update record. And that's going to be important because I'll show you when we get to the app builder side of it. Um, you're actually referencing a specific action. Um, so create it as a update record, name it, whatever makes sense to you. Mine's new highlights panel, and then you're going to hit save when you hit save and you do it for the very first time, it's going to prompt you to set up your layout. Now, this is where you actually display anything that you want to display. So in this case, right, the, these are the fields I've chosen, but in the use case that I had, I chose all those images, all those new custom fields that we had created that were color coded. Uh, to display in this layout. So here you can display similarly like you would to a highlights panel. Pick the ones that you want to draw attention to, add them to this layout, and go ahead and hit, and hit save there. Now that you've done that, you can jump over to your app builder. Um, and on this specific page, what you're looking for is this guy right here, the related record. And that's what I've done. I've, I've dragged that onto the actual uh, page here. I have this one set up over here. Um, this typically won't be filled out right off the bat, right? Um, but you can add that label to make sense for whatever you need to, to name it. So I named mine the new highlights panel just for the purpose of this test. But you can name it whatever you'd like as well. So if you want to draw attention that way, you can, you can name this specific portion up here, whatever you'd like. Um, and then what it's doing is it's looking up a specific action. So now in here, you have this new action with a... Um, page layout of sorts that is going to reference um, some of those fields that you put on there, right? So ours is this new highlight panel. Uh, and then you don't need to worry about anything else. That's literally it. You hit save. And now, as you saw right from the get-go, you have this new highlights panel, or you have a new set of things uh, that you can display here. Um, don't like uh, quote me on this, but I did see at one point that there was some ideas floating out there in the Salesforce world as far as like um, like trying to add field sets to uh, the uh, app builder portion of it. And I think it was floating out there as an idea. Um, I'm not like super deep on that whole idea, so I could be wrong here, but I think this could work as a good substitute for that because you're essentially doing the same thing. You're taking some fields displaying them somewhere uh, specific. They're not in like a different section here on your details page. They can kind of just float wherever you want to float them on that page, which is really nice. Um, so that's kind of the entire spill behind this. Now, if you're still watching, you've seen kind of how we did that uh, and you care to know, you know, the amount of time that went into that. There wasn't really a lot of blog posts that I found out there. And let's kind of get into that of why we did it this way. Well, number one, right, is 
I'm not a developer, so there were a lot of solutions, as I mentioned, out there um, as far as like coding something out or creating like a visual force page I even saw uh, that you could do. You could create your own lightning component was another one, right? And that wasn't something that was an option really for me. I kind of got desperate and started looking at those, um, but it wasn't something that I have enough knowledge around to be able to do in the time frame that I needed to do it in. Um, so that was kind of a strikeout. I'm sure that's probably the better way for a lot of reasons. If you have more Salesforce knowledge than me, you could probably tell me all the reasons why that would be a cooler option to do it that way. So obviously you could do it that way. Uh, the other one was like an app exchange. I did see some on the app exchange that are probably, um, you know, more optimal that you could uh, use uh, an example like this for. Um, the one that I came across that I wanted to use was like 150 bucks, I think a month though. And this to me for the company that I was working for at the time was more of like a nice to have. It wasn't something we were willing to spend money on. It was kind of just thrown out there. I was working on a team and we didn't have any developers. So it was just kind of thrown out there of like, hey, if we can make this happen, awesome. Let's try to make it happen. So uh, that was kind of the setup for me. Um, so I didn't really have anybody uh, you know, else that I could rely on to do that. So that's kind of why I landed on this, why I didn't pay for an app, why I didn't develop it, um, and kind of did it in this workaround type of way. Um, going back to the blog post, so I didn't see like a ton of uh, examples of this out there. I saw like a mix and mash, I guess you could say, where I would come across like a blog post and kind of give like an idea around it, but not really walk me all the way through. Um, I would find something else that was like similar to like coding or whatever. So I felt like making this video would be, um, you know, help some other people out there save some time. I ended up spending you know, a couple days of work just trying to research this and trying to figure it out. And the reality of it is that uh, it's actually a really quick solution. So a uh, new way that you can create this highlights panel. Hopefully that helps you guys save some time.